Perfect. Uh, all right. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the 15th of the uh, Filecoin Core Devs meetings. Uh, today is the 8th of uh, April. I'm going to drop the issue, uh, the agenda in the chat. Uh, cool. Yeah, agenda for the day is kind of our uh, usual usual updates from all of the various teams in the foundation and so on. Uh, we'll do. Uh, we're going to talk about what's going into the next uh, network upgrade, so not the one happening in about uh, four days, uh, but the one that we're thinking will happen sometime in June. So we just need to start start deciding, you know, what's in scope, what's out of scope. Um, and also, I had some conversations around how. Uh, the other implementations can uh, can leverage the Falcon community to test, um, and so uh, we we can have a conversation around kind of like community testing and beta users and so on uh, of the newer implementations, which will be cool. Um, but yeah, who wants to kick off updates? Um, uh, Forest, do you want to? Sure. Um, so yeah, I mean our primary goal has hasn't really changed over the last few weeks um, we are working towards our audit which starts on april 26th so our main goal has just to be uh to prepare for this by uh, productionizing for us as much as possible um so a couple of things that we've been focusing on um are the message pool and mainly actually focusing on syncing um so we've already made lots of great improvements that i'll i'll let eric talk about in more detail soon but um, we're just focusing on improving this and by creating a more robust syncing state machine. Um, we've also made a bunch of updates to RPC and for the most part, we should be matching the Lotus RPC now. Um, the final step we want to do here before the audit is just adding uh, JOT authentication for RPC. Um, otherwise, we are also working on integrating the storage and retrieval markets, um, the GoFill markets uh, module. And so we're doing that by updating our pay channels implementation, and then we'll have to add the RPC uh, methods for that. Um, and yeah, otherwise we are also hoping to get some instrumentation done prior to the audit. And so currently we are thinking of using Grafana and Prometheus, but yeah, we're still kind of designing that. Um, and yeah, I don't know, Eric, if you wanna talk more about like the details of, of the syncing um, performance changes. Yeah, um, yeah, I can speak a little bit to that. But yeah, for like, you know, the past few weeks, uh, we've been kind of trying to chase down exactly where we were slow in the VM. Um, and because I mean, I guess there was, we, we didn't really have a good reference for like how fast the other implementations were um, with respect to VM execution, like primarily like executing messages and the cron actor stuff. Um, so it looked like we were quite a bit slower compared to Lotus before. Um, and that was because um, the thing was, what I was measuring on Lotus was actually how long it takes for a worker to process like blocks coming in through Gossip Sub. Um, and so like, you know, like normally what would happen is like you get a block uh, during some epoch and then like the previous tip sets messages and all the cron stuff gets executed. Um, However, it turns out in Lotus, some of the stuff gets optimistically computed. Um, I, I learned this from Magic yesterday, um, but some of the stuff gets uh, optimistically uh, computed due to a like some quirk in the message pool, um, where it needs to where it calculates the tip set state for the current epoch, um, thus calculating its parents stuff. So yeah, I was like seeing, you know, blocks, you know, being computed at like around like, you know, sub second, like one second or so. And I was like, how in the world are we ever going to match this? Um, and then, you know, after realizing that I did more measurements uh, on like how long cron actors take on Lotus on like uh, my AWS machine. And then I compared it to ours and turns out we're doing just fine. So that was kind of interesting. But we, we did make a lot of optimizations on the way anyways, um, which turned out to be pretty good. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like our updates for like the VM performance related to syncing. Um, and then yeah, with, with with respect to like our actual like chain syncing algorithm, Jorge here has been working on kind of refactoring it to make it a more robust uh, like state machine that is like more easy to reason about and just um, yeah, more robust. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think we're we're doing pretty well with the syncing part. Um, looks looks pretty good. 
Oh, sounds good. Uh, not gonna lie, seems a little <laughs> seems a little late in the game to be refactoring your your syncing and introducing a state machine. But if uh, like have, have those changes already landed, you'll feel good about them, or? Uh, hasn't, it hasn't landed yet, but we've made pretty good progress. I mean, our syncing algorithm currently works um, like okay, um, but I think there's like quite a bit of um, quite a bit of room for improvement, which is why we, we kind of want to do this refactor. But um, you know, if we don't get this one in on time <clears throat> for the audit, like we can default to what we have right now, which you know syncs a tip set in like two seconds at this point, so um, which is pretty good. Fair enough. Yeah. And, and just one thing to add there is when we did have our chat with uh, Mehdi at Sigma Prime, you know, about a month ago, um, his recommendation was to kind of do as much as we could with the syncing because like changing that in the future might mean a full like re audit because it touches so many different parts of the code. Um, so we are, it is, it is definitely late in the game, but we're trying to get it in so that we can make best use of, of the audit essentially. That makes sense. No, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing at all. I just know that at this yeah. point, I would be like, well, I'm not touching anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's probably a good thing. We live on the edge, <laughs> you know, that forest. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, cool. Venus folks, do you all want to share your audio? Uh, Stephen, Venus? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, sorry. Mm. Yeah. Good morning, everyone, and um, good evening. Oh, um, yeah, for Velas, um, Velas implementation, we are still uh, working on the um, yeah, distributed uh, mining pool support. So uh, we have uh, different uh, component uh, de development uh, on the way. Um, and the plan is that we will have um, all the components uh, integration together uh, to deploy them and uh, all of them on the uh, main network um, to upgrade the current VLAS load and to support um, the, all of this. Um, currently, we have uh, all the components um, yeah, working on the, uh, yeah, uh, on the data network yeah, for the testing. Um, so, uh, we plan to have um, yeah the first will uh, the first will load uh, to upgrade uh, next week and uh, uh, after next week we will have uh, a few uh, notice load to upgrade to the uh, new VLAS version and to work with um, yeah work together and to use the common components yeah for example to have the uh, VLAS load, which will do the uh, chain syncing, and we will have the messenger uh, component to work for uh, a few loads, and uh, we have um, yeah mining um, component to yeah, to do binding, uh, yeah to have the block generation for uh, a few uh, loads yeah, together, uh, which is that uh, yeah we can call this uh, the yeah, distributed um, mining pool and um, yeah prototype. And uh, yeah, you could say that this is a um, MVP and show um, yeah, for the first time uh, on the mainnet. And I, I would think that we, we, we could do that um, yeah, by May 1st, um, yeah, the, uh, which is our target. Mm. Uh, in the last two weeks, uh, among all these components, um, okay, I would think um, we have a very good progress. Um, the uh, VLAS wallet component, we, um, yeah, which is uh, already completed the first version, uh, which is uh, workable and uh, work yeah, very well. And uh, the messenger um, to manage uh, all the uh, messages from different nodes. Um, and we have the mining uh, component um, to uh, work with Mount multiple loads and uh, to do the mining and uh, together. Um, yeah, it, it, uh, and also we uh, add the, uh, an authentication um, yeah, component into um, the components yeah, uh, to, to do, um, yeah, to increase the security. Um, um, yeah, including uh, the, the token verification 
uh, to support this. Um, okay. And so uh, right now we have, um, we will have one release, we call it uh, 0 0.9.4 um, in the plan uh, to release within one week. And uh, it will also support the and this work version 11 and um, yeah to upgrade um to um yeah to the main network to support um yeah, which is coming soon um yes yeah, so that's uh what was it oh, okay what's more um yeah one more thing is about we're still uh in the audit progress um we yeah uh, the plan to have the first report, um, I was think in 10 days, um, which goes smoothly. Uh, yeah, okay, I think uh, that's all I have. Any questions? No, all of that sounds good. Uh, I noticed uh, the post in SIL lobby yesterday asking people to, that the Venus nodes can be can be run on mainnet, that's exciting. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, I think the distributed mining pool work is uh, is going to be probably really welcomed by uh, a good chunk of the mining community. So it's, it's really good to happen, and it's really cool that like Lotus and Venus will be able to kind of like share uh, in in such a pool. Uh, so good work. Um, uh, cool. Fuhan, uh, the alt updates. Uh, good morning or evening, everyone. Uh, so for Fuhan, for Fuhan, we are focusing for the, the on fixing all the issues that are blocking us from the uh, going to the mainnet and basically releasing the node. Uh, since the last meetings, uh, well, uh, on the last meeting, I mentioned that we had a major memory leak, uh, which was uh, resolved, but then we found another one. Uh, the previous one was on the LPTP site. Uh, and uh, introduce introduction of Yamaku refactoring has fixed all the well uh, previous issues issues on this side. Uh, so the current one we are actually haven't identified it uh, like precisely. Uh, we know for sure that uh, it's on a, not on a lip to lip to p side, so it's probably somewhere on Fuhon side. And uh, we are trying uh, currently trying to introduce changes that. Uh, probably will uh, fix the issue. If not, then we'll have to uh, do some more research on the root cause. Um, so uh, the second issue we are having now is, uh, so basically we have three issues now that are blocking us from a go in life. First one is memory leak. Uh, second, second one is a uh, uh, sick fault due to some uh, uh, issues probably in the virtual machine. Uh, again, this is uh, something that we have to reconfirm as uh, we have introduced a possible fix and uh, we just need to verify that it is fixed. And the third, third one is uh, uh, actually the, the hardest to catch. So we have uh, an error which is uh, thrown by some, uh, uh, some of our libraries, not the main code from the Fuhon or P2P. So we have to trace it to the exact place on, on basically what is happening on the underlying libraries. And it's kind of hard to do as the issue itself is uh, kind of rare and uh, we are not able to uh, reliably uh, 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 reproduce it. So uh, we are just uh, starting with the mainnet node and waiting for it to happen. So this is kind of like, the, the worst case uh, bug you can imagine, but uh, there is nothing actually we can do about it. So uh, we will try to find the root cause and fix it as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, this is uh, our status as for today. Uh, as for the different things we are doing is we are uh, still working on introducing uh, our own actors. So we are working on the last one still, uh, which is a storage miner actor, uh, P2. And uh, after that, we'll have, we will start on storage, well, on uh, actors V3. Uh, so, but this is uh, planned for versions either 1.1 or, or 1.2. So. Uh, again, our main focus is to finish all the issues uh, needed to be resolved after the or before the mainnet, so mainnet release. Uh, 
are you sure are muted? Yes, I am. Uh, sounds good. And quickly on that error that you mentioned, uh, I, we talked about this yesterday, but one of the reasons why it's hard to figure out is because the error itself says what? Like, what is the text of the error? <laughs> no error. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's a mysterious error that says no error. I can imagine yeah. that's not going to yeah. be easy to figure out. Um, <laughs> after that. Uh, but yeah, cool. Very exciting that you know the list of the list of things that are actually kind of like block, blocking production ready is uh, is fairly small by this point, which is great. Um, cool. Uh, all right. From the from the Lotus side of things, uh, not not too much happening on our end. Um, mostly, uh, like last couple of weeks, uh, work was around the upcoming network V11 upgrade. Uh, so we ran, uh, we ran that fill poll that we mentioned the last time. It was still ongoing the last time we spoke. Uh, the poll closed with overwhelming support to adopt the FIP. Um, so, uh, and from the security perspective, we didn't have any reason not to. So we are shipping FIP uh, 14 in network version 11. Uh, the network mainnet, it's running on our test networks already, uh, and uh, mainnet will upgrade on uh, uh, Monday, April 12th, or Tuesday, April 13th, depending on where in the world you are. Um, so that was shipped out in Lotus V160, um, and haven't had any uh, issues reported from, from folks who've been integrating the release so far. Um, it's, it's a very, very small release, so um, uh, hoping, that, uh, hoping that there won't be any issues with that. Uh, apart from that, uh, kind of the Two major threads uh, on our end are uh, a lot of work on kind of internal improvements. Uh, so how, how to uh, how to ship releases better, how to test releases better, how to handle emergency situations better. Um, and we'll be talking about this some more. Uh, we're basically trying to yeah trying trying try to ship better software and build trust uh, in uh, in new Lotus releases uh, because there's a bit of a dearth of that in the community right now, which uh, which we've earned. So um, so a, a, a lot of focus on that. I mentioned the uh, release issue. Uh, uh, template that we that were that's under construction in the last call um, feel free to check it out and share any feedback if you have um, yeah so that's kind of one thread that's happening the other thread is uh, scoping everything that's needed for the next network upgrade uh, so and that's kind of cross team work that there's work happening in proofs there's work happening in actors uh, and Lotus has to integrate uh, at least FIP 13 the proofs application changes so that's kind of all happening at the same time uh, and will be one of the things we talk about uh in this call um yeah uh, jennifer wide any other updates that you wanted to share um before we jump into kind of scoping nothing for me thanks jennifer says notes nope got it um cool uh yeah any questions about uh, about that stuff or anyone else's implementation uh, cool. I had a quick one for the teams. I know Venus, you already mentioned. Uh, who else is planning on going over the uh, network V11 upgrade on Monday with us, with with the network? Um, yeah, we we have uh, V11 uh, merged in already, so yeah, should be good. Nice. Um, cool. Uh, Maxim says that he has to go, uh, but Alexei is staying behind. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, it'll be, it's, it's good to have uh, more implementations around these upgrades, especially when they're smaller ones, uh, so that they're kind of easier to uh, to see if everything works well. Um, so that's good. Um, all right, I put it in the agenda this time because I didn't want to keep forgetting uh, any updates from the Filecoin Foundation that you folks would like to share with us. No, no really big updates on our side. Yeah, we have, we have no updates, but we, you know, Making an update on the chain safe and so we have contracts ongoing. We have some VDF work that's ongoing. So, um, if you guys want to hear more about that, happy to update. But um, we've otherwise, you know, we gave a ten million dollar donation to Internet Archive last week. If you guys saw, so there's a couple of exciting things. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. That's definitely a cool update. Um, yeah, sounds like sounds like y'all are always up to a lot of kind of like behind the scenes putting everything in place uh, work, which is great and appreciated, obviously. Um, oh, sorry, I actually have a update. Update. So we actually launched the Filecoin Ambassador program 
it's a pilot program that's gonna start kick off like maybe next week we are just like picking our first cohort so they're, they're gonna help with our like community moderation community management and community engagement for like onboarding miners developers and, uh, and clients so if any other implementation that needs any help with the community there let us know and um, we got a group of people that can help us now Uh, That's great. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, uh, Jennifer, we have a mining work, the mining working group that we're trying to pick up recently. Let's sync separately on that. So sounds good. <laughs> and uh, we, I have this on the agenda to discuss later, but just real quick since you bring it up, uh, is one of the goals to have uh, newer implementations be tested uh, by, or not, not necessarily tested, but like. Yeah, to be tried out by uh, by folks in the program like this, like if that was in scope. Uh, the ambassador are here to support uh, the community. They don't necessarily like run like although the first cohort they are the miners in the uh, in Falcon right now most of them, but like yeah they are not supposed to be testing the product for the Falcon, but they are to support the community. Yeah. Got it. So so. I, so the case would ideally be as more implementations join and get popular that in the community ambassadors program we have people that are capable of supporting other implementations that are familiar with the other implementations yeah. and serve as ambassadors for them. Makes sense. Uh, cool. Sounds good. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Ne next item that I have on the agenda is just scoping out uh, network V12 actors V4 and everything to go into that. Uh, so why I will let you take over here. Great. So I just posted a link to this issue uh, in the Zoom chat. So I've been spending a bit of time thinking about what's going to go in Actors V4. And I guess the first thing to talk about is the timeline. It still feels a bit vague. Uh, I've heard like early June, like as rough consensus from PL. And so that's what I'm working with. I don't have an exact date. I don't expect we'll have an exact date. Um, and also, I mean, this is something that's you know, somewhat up for discussion here, too. Uh, I don't exactly know how we decide on the timeline, but right now I'm just converging on the, uh, the consensus point of early June and trying to scope things in a way where uh, we have work that's achievable by then. Uh, yeah, so diving a little bit into uh, this issue, uh, the most important uh, five things are under the the upgrades and conformance testing sections. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll actually just go through the things that uh, I think need to be in V4, uh, meaning that if we don't have them, uh, we we don't ship the release. Uh, and so the most important of these is FIP13 uh, with aggregate PORAP. It's also uh, the most work and is shared by everyone. Um, then there's also two simple FIPS, the verified client reuse, uh, consensus fault simplification. Uh, and then there's a bug fix too. Um, and besides like for code that uh, all actors implementations will need to write. And then on the conformance testing side, this is mostly work for uh, the specs actors team, not for other actors teams, uh, though uh, the other implementation teams, uh, you'll need to be able to consume these, but I think that shouldn't be a problem. This should be more of a benefit than a uh, than a cost uh, for everyone else here. Uh, and that's, yes, yeah, so on the conformance testing side, uh, I'm saying we won't ship V4 until spec factors can generate uh, a good set of conformance tests uh, in the form of test vectors, which can then be consumed by external implementations to get us better, more automated uh, convergence uh, to ensure the conformance happens. Uh, so I can talk about any of these things more. I think the biggest, um, so yeah, there are other things in this that we can get into. Uh, a lot of it's like optimistic work that I'm saying we we can include and we should work on, but uh, it doesn't need to be there. I think the, the most important thing uh, is, I'm not sure if this happens now or in the next few weeks, but the most important thing is to, to get buy-in uh, from y'all, uh, the other implementations on, on this feature set uh, by early June. Uh, yeah, to figure out now if this seems achievable. If not, there are some options uh, we can take, but I think it's better to to think about this now uh, early rather than later. 
I have a couple of questions. Um, with respect to the 13, 12, and 11, like those three FIPS, uh, have, has implementation started on those yet? Or, um, yeah, cause like so, you linked to the issue. So I just, yeah, I wasn't aware, I, I didn't know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the, the, I should link to the PRs too. So 11 and 12 are merged. So Spect Actors has these. 13 is in a draft state. It is, it is functionally there. Uh, it hasn't been, you know, fully optimized or fully security analyzed, but the bulk of the code that I expect to be there is there. So it's, it's in a decent state. I'm hoping end of week, next week, that that's like fully merged and good. Uh, the, the final of the, uh, of the like blocking upgrade work, the, the partitions compaction bug, I haven't started uh, even thinking about the design. So that one uh, has the potential to expand though. I think it's, it's it, it definitely it's maybe somewhere in in between twelve and thirteen in terms of complexity. Yeah, cool. Thanks. Yeah, a link to the PRs on that uh, GitHub issue would be dope. Just cool. to kind of we'll have do. a sense of how how this is all going to look like. Yeah, we'll do. Thank you. I guess I have one other question, not not exactly related to this, but in general. But well, what are the who who are the kind of like stakeholders involved in um, deciding when these network upgrades happen? Because um, yeah, I mean, Zen just mentioned that PL, but like who who is PL? Because I mean, surely spec actors is PL. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I guess so. Right now, I guess PL is me. I'm I'm wearing the PL uh, the PL hat. Um, I'm, I guess I'm taking the lead from, uh, I guess, so Molly would be a kind of a point of contact. That's kind of who I'm, I'm talking to right now or who I need to talk to right now about, about making this more solid. Um, I think this date is, I can't really point to a single person right now who's set this date, which, which seems like a bit of a problem in itself. It seems like, like I use magic, like the, the file, the so-called Filecoin stewards team, like including myself we've all kind of been like, there's this rough estimate of like three months or two to like two to three months between upgrades. And so we've been like, I, I don't know, this, this number has come out of that or this date has come from that. There isn't a, a great formal process of, of setting the state. Uh, and yeah, but we also haven't, it seems like we haven't you know, consulted with, with you guys or with other implementations about feasibility. Um, yeah. So, yeah, maybe this is the time to to figure out how we do this, how we set timelines, because uh, you know I, I think eventually it has to be like maybe right now it makes sense for you know the PL specs actors team to be to be driving timelines and trying to like set deadlines, but you know like eventually we should all there should be some process where every implementation you know has has some sort of voting power, yeah. Yeah, so lots of thoughts there. I think we're already past the point where uh, PL or any kind of like single representative of PL is going is shaping timelines. I don't think. Uh, 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 I, I, yeah, I think we're yeah we're kind of already past that just because we have other implementations on mainnet already. Um, uh, so in yeah, in terms of how we make, the, in terms of who makes the decision, the answer is fairly simple, and that is basically this group of people uh, achieving consensus on uh, around some timeline. Uh, in terms of how, uh, but obviously we, we, uh, we need to be we need to be factoring in kind of the community and the network as opposed to you know what works for us. So um, that'll be stuff like you know what what miners want, what storage clients want. Is there a critical bug that we want to get fixed and that kind of thing? Um, with this particular uh, network upgrade, like I think FIP thirteen, the proofs aggregation FIP is a kind of like universally good thing that we want to get out into the network because it really is kind of like transformative to how much can happen on, on the Filecoin network. So that's kind of what's uh, keeping the timeline a little uh, a little more aggressive. Um, yeah, so I don't, uh, so I don't, uh, so I think, uh, and ideally, uh, you know, more and more of this moves away from the PL side of things and becomes, uh, yeah, becomes a consensus decision that's reached. Uh, and, I and I think we're moving in the right direction there. That does mean that it'll, it'll always be a somewhat messy process if it feels like we have if it feels like we haven't picked a timeline for B12 uh, upgrade slash B4 actors yet, it's because we've been talking about it for several weeks now. And that's um, so maybe what's missing is a point at which we, we as in this group, formally say this is our decision. But, uh, but because there's so much back and forth, I think it'll always be a somewhat drawn out process, and that's okay. Um, 
and uh, obviously the stakes will the stakes will rise higher as uh, you know more implementations are used by larger chunks of the network. Um, so maybe we can play a little fast and lose with like the V11 upgrade coming up on Monday, for instance. But uh, once once the other implementations are key parts of the uh, community and they're increasingly getting there, um, then uh, then it will be a matter of like yeah we have to achieve consensus or worst case we come to a place where you know one implementation doesn't support an upgrade for some reason or the other but that'll be that'll be a fairly tricky thing to, to have to, to have to negotiate so i think from my perspective short answer is uh, yeah i definitely don't think it's any any single person or group of people at pl i think the final answer is from the group of people here weighing in opinions from everyone uh from the community from uh from miners from folks at pl from everyone else um but uh, but yeah, ultimately the decision is being made here, and I think that's kind of what we've done with uh, with V4, which is which is good. Uh, but I'm very interested in hearing what everyone else has to say on this. Uh, I would think it's good to have yeah, have a group uh, here to have the decision. But um, based on this, um, I would think everyone in this yeah, in this meeting or um, everyone in the yeah, in the community can have some yeah, comments or um, yeah, suggestion um, or yeah, advice um, or something like this, but we still need someone to, um, yeah, to have the final yeah, proposal and uh, um, yeah, we need to have one to yeah, come up with a, yeah, uh, the schedule or proposal. So it looks like uh, we need, um, yeah, uh, for example, if we have the pace, we, we have the definition to have one release uh, every two months or three months, and then we could define a product manager uh, on that. Yeah, I believe right now, yeah, Moli is a pro yeah, product manager. We we have this one to be responsible to come up and our um yeah and a definition of and uh, yeah the list and uh, to to get all the um um. Yeah, proposals or yeah, and, uh, or comments or review from uh, everybody, and then we have a uh, yeah something uh, official to um, yeah, discuss here and to, to have a, a timeline uh, defined. So uh, I think yeah, I think Grant uh, had a, a, a very good job to have uh, all these features to be listed uh, yeah in this um, yeah in this issue list. Um, um, yeah, but when we have a, uh, having a release, we still need a, a little bit uh, detailed um, yeah, planning. Yeah, for example, uh, when we will have all these yeah, features done uh, in, yeah, from the uh, implementation point of view, and we, yeah, we still have uh, other components and uh, other yeah, implementations to uh, have all this. Uh, yeah, uh, workable, and we need to have the testing. So we need to have defined the yeah different timeline, right? Um, so I think yeah, for that one, we need one person to be yeah to working on that. And uh, um, so yeah, this person yeah could be one person for uh, a few releases, or we we need to um, yeah, turn over or something like that. You know? Yeah, I like that idea a lot, and I think uh, I, I I think that's kind of the right uh, way to be thinking about this. Is yeah, like uh, so, and potentially that one person could be like a PL person, quote unquote, who's basically doing the organization work, who's basically like kind of sourcing all the input and aggregating it at one place, and then being like, here's what we need to be discussing, and essentially preparing the decision that needs to be made. But ultimately, the decision that itself should be made, yeah, I think by by this group of people, and ideally we do it transparently, like maybe in an open Slack channel or in these recordings, uh, works well, uh, too. Um, yeah, I'm also curious to hear, uh, foundation folks, if what what y'all think about this, just from the principle of you know, yeah, moving moving uh, governance away from uh, any one large organization or group of people. Yeah, I think I think that's a huge goal of us existing as this foundation is making sure that we enable governance. So we're definitely, you know, we don't have we can help facilitate, but we definitely um, are a huge proponent of what's being proposed here. So okay, sounds good. Yeah, I think uh, there's probably uh, yeah we'll probably get some uh, need some help from you folks uh, and how to how to best do this uh, in a in an open, decentralized, transparent manner. Um, mm. Yeah. 
other other thoughts on the subject? I'm glad we're having this conversation. Yeah, I yeah, guess like, I could try to. Oh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go go. <laughs> um, yeah, I was just gonna say, like, I think we're pretty. Our, our process on deciding which FIPS kind of get accepted are pretty good. Um, but yeah, I guess the 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 point that I was trying to nail down is, you know, like I don't think the community should kind of decide when we should be implementing things in which upgrades and what timelines. Um, like mo most of like most of the FIPS, if they pass and you know they get voted in, like we're gonna implement it eventually. But it's like if you know if if they're like, yeah, we want like twenty of these FIPS to be implemented in like two months. It's like I don't know if that's like possible. Um, so that that's kind of like I mean, obviously that's a very extreme example and it hasn't happened yet and all of that. But um, kind of my point is, it's like I think you know our FIPS process is good. What gets decided to be merged is good, but I think ultimately like the timeline should come down to just like specifically this group and be accounted for by like some sort of like, you know, implementations like release manager or something like that. Um, because like, yeah, I mean, you know, every, every implementation has different priorities and different timelines and stuff like that. And um, like, yeah, like coming to concrete date should, you know, kind of be decided by, you know, implementers. Yeah, agreed. I am curious, though, uh, regarding the first point you made. Uh, yes, I definitely don't think the community should be picking, like, the, uh, yeah, should be telling us what goes into releases, but we should be factoring in what their, like, asks and uh, requests and so on, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, no, I, I didn't mean to say that, like, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, just make sure we're on the same page there. Uh, yeah, agreed. Uh, yeah, so I think uh, this is interesting. I think we've Kind of, we're kind of identifying that, yeah, we, we don't want one person making any decisions, but it's probably useful to have one person uh, staying on top of things and, uh, yeah, figure it, yeah, stewarding the decision, so, so, so to speak. And then, uh, and then we can, uh, uh, the, the, the actual choice uh, can be made by, by this group together. Uh, and also, yeah, definitely acknowledge what you're saying about, yeah, different implementations, especially right now, given that, that uh, everyone's at different stages of the game, will have different priorities. And that'll always be the case, right? Like, so at some, like someone might be sprinting towards some internal improvement that has nothing to do with the network, but a sudden large network upgrade will kind of toss all of our plans aside. So, Things to do there is yeah for us to generally stay in sync with what uh, to kind of have a sense of uh, what the other uh, implementations kind of like goals and roadmaps are will be good, but also a, a lot of it will potentially come down to we need to move kind of slowly we need to move roughly as slow as the uh, as yeah whoever whoever uh, uh, needs the most time for for where an implementation might be. Um, and yeah, because there's there's lots of differences here, right? Like some implementation, like some 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 of us share actors and therefore can split the work between us, whereas others uh, are re-implementing actors and therefore have a bunch more work to do. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think the system will slowly fall in place. Um, Why you were gonna say? Yeah, I was I was gonna try to make progress on 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 helping the system fall in place. So so yeah, here's here's an idea which I think I, I'm trying to incorporate the ideas discussed here. So we could say, add three months to the last the last major uh, version update. So like uh, that's like June 3rd or something. Uh, set that as the timeline. Uh, and in the future, attempt to maintain this fixed pace of releases. At that point, so we have a time-based release. So, uh, so, so, so work, is, is like the variable that we need to decide. Uh, we can treat what I have here as a proposal for what we agree we can get into uh, this fixed timeline. Uh, here is where we discuss, hash it out and say, look, like you know, I'm, we're not gonna be able to, you know, get this done or this done, like let's cut back scope or we all think we can do more. Let's like add this to the list. Um, and we can use the structure of like, you know, optional upgrades, which I have here uh, to allow people to kind of get ahead uh, without holding up the upgrade. Um, and then maybe like, so, so further proposal, um, if, so, so we make, we make a commitment at some point. Uh, I, in, in this case, we're a little bit behind. So maybe it's a little bit weird, but in the future, like say like, you know, the week after the previous upgrade or maybe two weeks or something, we make a commitment to, okay, this is like the set of features that we agree we'll have. Um, 
And then, yeah, I, I guess the thing that I'm not so sure about is is how we handle it when, say, like one implementation slips. So that like the two options are we push the, uh, I guess the three options are we push the upgrade date, which doesn't sound great if we're trying to do this fixed cadence. The other option is we cut that feature out. Um, and then the third option is we let that implementation slide off of mainnet, which also, you know, seems not so great. Um, yeah, so there's like, yeah, there's three not so great options for how to handle that particular thing. Uh, maybe if we could solve that, like figure out what we want to do there, uh, that would help us make progress. Yeah, I, that, that was kind of what I was going to suggest. Um, <clears throat> and maybe to even be more sure about, you know, like your concern about, you know, implementations like slipping. It's like, I think it's very useful to commit to a vague uh, kind of time frame. So from what I've seen, like in other blockchains, I mean, like, I guess Ethereum is probably, probably what I'm thinking of um, usually, but it's like, you know, they have like kind of scheduled like cadence of hard forks, it feels like. Um, and then it, it doesn't really feel like they set like a date until, you know, all the implementations have implemented it. And, um, and you know, when they start setting the date, then you know that's when they do a bunch of the testing and all that stuff um so i don't think we should even be committing to a specific date and just giving a vague you know like month timeline because like even if an implementation slips in general i don't see it slipping like for more than like two or three weeks of work right um, yeah yeah so something like that um <clears throat> makes a lot of sense to me okay cool so i so the proposal there which which i like it sounds like the, the vague timeline is actually a feature. So what I have here, like proposing uh, work that 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 needs to be in in V4, uh, that's that's like what decides it. So I, it sounds like under this proposal, uh, we all implement uh, like these these four things, and uh, you know shooting for around June, um, and then we we wait until everybody has this. And uh, then we decide the date a little bit later when it becomes more clear uh, what, when we're all going to have this landed and tested. Yes-ish is my opinion. I, f I kind of feel like a, like a, a one-size-fits-all approach won't work here. Like it's very much going to be a case-by-case -case thing where, uh, yeah, so, so I broadly agree with like the idea of we'll say that, you know, the upgrade happens in June uh, using this one as an example. And, you know, it can be June, September, January, and so on. Um, I think I, th I think that makes sense, and the scope uh, kind of uh, yeah is, is fleshed out in a place like this. I think when it comes down to uh, choosing between those three options of like de scope push the release or uh, let an, let an implementation slide out, I think that'll probably have to come to a case by case basis. Where sometimes pushing the release might make more sense, and sometimes de scoping might make more sense. Um, I think I think letting a letting an implementation slide off of mainnet should always be the last option slash shouldn't be on the table um but I, yeah i i think uh, i think between those two we'll we will have to see uh it, it is kind of my guess <clears throat> because like pushing a timeline isn't the worst thing in the world uh but nor is cutting scope if especially if we're saying okay it's getting cut out of this but that means it'll be in the network two months from now because that's when the next drop period is seems fine to me um uh but again it'll depend on what's actually being cut from scope or what the timeline slipping by is. Is that one week or is that two months? That kind of thing. Um, it's just my guess. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said, I generally don't see like timelines sl slipping by any months, especially if it's like actors upgrade things because those are quite isolated changes. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I totally, totally get what you're saying as well. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. May maybe I'm being overly optimistic, but I don't realistically see timelines slipping by a few months, um, at least on the implementation level for actors. I'm not sure though. Yeah, and I, and I think I agree without without wanting to be optimistic at the point of foolishness either, uh, where often you, because oftentimes like a, a big change and maybe FIP 13 proofs aggregation is a good example of this, um, 
might not be the biggest change. Uh, the, the size of the change isn't entirely at the consensus level here, where a lot of the work is actually integrating the miner to you know, start aggregating proofs and you know, actually use the change. But that's not what's needed for the network upgrade itself. Like if we, if we wanted, we could, sh uh, like uh, other implementations could potentially just get the consensus parts of it so they can like stay in sync with the network. And then you know, any miners, their miners won't actually start aggregating proofs until that happens in some smaller release down the road. Uh, and I wonder right. if that could potentially be a pattern uh, with uh, with big changes, quote unquote, that land. <clears throat> uh, using the optimistic window posting as an example, and this doesn't really the analogy doesn't hold up as well. But uh, like writing the disputer uh, to actually dispute these posts is the smaller uh, non-consensus critical piece that you know implementations can do in their own time or choose to not do at all. Um, and then the the consensus part of it is uh, is a smaller kernel of change that is easier to digest. So may maybe we'll wind up in that place. I, I, I think there's a lot of like learning that'll happen, uh, a lot of like unknowns right now, um, but we'll we'll see how things flesh out. Yeah, any other thoughts on this subject? Um. Yeah, uh, I agree actually um, for uh, all this discussion. And um, yeah, personally, I would like to have an uh, uh, yeah, uh, initial plan uh, for our release. And uh, yeah, based on that, we, um, yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 uh, I would think we could review that, yeah, for example, in this meeting and uh, to have yeah, the plan to, yeah, to adjust the plan, uh, uh, actually. Yeah, for example, if we have yeah, some difficulties to meet this schedule, yeah, but we will try to meet the schedule, right? Um, yeah, if we cannot, um, yeah, we could yeah, push back and also yeah, something, yeah, it, yeah, it's normal. Um, yeah, but I would think that you know, uh, it will be very good to have the community have a uh, uh, right expectation and uh, yeah, they could, uh, all the miners to, yeah, to 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 also yeah planning their upgrading or something or their uh, any yeah anything else yeah for the upgrading um yeah to be planned accordingly yeah which would be yeah very good so so yeah and, and I would think um we could um yeah perhaps um, try the best to have a reasonable planning um uh, earlier and uh, we could. Yeah, if necessary, we could adjust that. Um, it's, it's kind of like uh, any other project um, in management. Um, yeah, that will be life. Yeah, strong agree. I think uh, I think the community having uh, finally having a sense of you know a, a kind of longer term Filecoin roadmap will be great. Being like this is these are when the upgrades are planned and this is what is probably going to happen in them. I think that's something that we're not providing right now, uh, which would be which would be good. <clears throat> cool. Um, all right, uh, we're almost at time. Uh, so maybe let's wrap up here uh, unless people have any further questions. Yeah, I have a, I guess a closing thought. Thanks for all the discussion. And um, if, yeah, if the Actors V4 plan seems like it's it's good enough to get started on the, uh, the proposed way forward as I see it, uh, yeah, just please comment uh, in the issue uh, as other implementers, uh, if this, if the uh, the necessary set of changes proposed for v4 seems achievable by June, so we can try to uh, yeah get going on having a, a concrete feature set for you know rough June that we can we can be confident about and you know more broadly share with the community. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. I was think. Um. Yeah. From Vila's point of view, I would try to. Um, yeah, provide uh, a feedback next week and to see yeah if um, yeah Vilas can you yeah incorporate uh, all of this into uh, okay next release in time okay okay thank you oh, I think Ayush has a furniture delivery that's why he hopped off. <laughs> you mentioned uh, okay. that at the beginning of the call uh, before everybody arrived. <laughs> oh, I do. Was but it the I'm furniture sure guy? Take a bath. <laughs>
Did your furniture come? What kind of furniture is it? It's almost here. It's a couch. Oh my God, I've been living without a couch for so long. <laughs> oh my God, wow. Very excited. Um, sorry, were there, were there any other topics of conversation? <laughs> I'm gonna say that's a no. Uh, we can we can wrap up here then. Hey, bye everyone. Bye. I know. I was gonna say we should we should get uh, some branded Filecoin pillows. You could get one for your couch. <laughs> Filecoin furniture would be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye everyone. All right. Bye. bye. bye.